Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto products. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own, my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Dancer. This is a Dance to Earn a project. They do have a pre-sale that is coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and take you over there first. So uh, taking a look you know, here at the pre-sale. Uh, page going to be hosted on pink sale just want to let you know that yes they do have an audit uh, you can see the audit badge here the kyc badge the audit did uh, excuse me did pass with no high or medium severity issues um team has been kyc as we can see through the kyc badge and they have not had any amas on this project yet so just be aware of that so we see according to the time we've got just over five days you know before the priest goes live uh, we get some information here in regards to the project dance to dance to earn fantastic dancing experience dance have fun get along with the beat and still earn some money uh, players can buy nft fashion and nft stage to participate in earning a reward of d2e uh, that's the ticker dance to earn it highlights of uh, the dance to earn mechanism players can dance two times per day to earn rewards of d2e uh, tracking ai technology to check the players movements the d2e reward will depend on how similar the sample dance video is and then we get a video here um, and then we see that this is not going to be a fair launch we see a hard cap you know 400 BNB uh, we see that the soft cap is going to be 300 and the initial market cap is going to be 191948 uh, we see the liquidity lockup time is going to be 365 days after the pool ends and then we see the token metrics and I don't really have any concerns there for me personally um, Pre-sale rate, you know, so here's what you're getting, 4125000, and you know, listing rate, 4042500, so you get a little bit of a better rate, you know, going uh, going in uh, at the, uh, the pre-sale, and then we see the minimum buy is going to be 0.1, and the max is going to be 1.5, so nothing too crazy there in terms of the max buy, uh, so um, I prefer to see, you know, nothing larger than a 1 BNB, you know, max, max contribution on a pre-sale, but like I said, I mean, um, this looks pretty good to me either way. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and head back on over. Uh, here is the white paper, you know, for this project. A lot of different things to go ahead and engage with in terms of uh, what they've got going on here in the white paper. And then it says here, Dan says, a web 3.0 platform leading the DeFi revolution with auto staking protocol combined with a new trend, Dance to Earn. So uh, we're going to see Dance is the difference here. And then we get some links here in terms of the white paper, staking, auto staking, bank staking, tokenomics marketplace, and then some socials, you know, here as well. Why Dance, uh, high fixed APY in crypto, 22.841%. Uh, auto staking and fast rebase rewards every 15 minutes 96 times per day uh, you're going to get more d2e when you stake in bank staking get free dances nft when holding the xd2e or staking xd2e in bank staking so and then let's see here how do how you be addicted to dancer uh gives you a nice little flow chart you know here as well guessing these are going to be screens you know, inside the app and then we see the NFT, uh, NFT fashion, NFT stage, you know, so they've got two different types of NFTs here. And so then we get the roadmap, you know, they got a lot going on here in the roadmap. Phase one all the way to phase five, we see market research, building ecosystem, website development, building the demo app and community development. Phase two, we see web websites published, um, audit and KYC, contact partners, Marketing and community event pre-sale launching on PCS, and then the Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko, you know, as well. Um, we see auto staking phase three. We see holders, you know, they don't need this, and they. I mean, you've got two mentions of holder accounts here in phase three. Uh, that's a filler. You don't really need it. Open marketplace, main app, main net app, things to earn, uh, central exchange listing, multi-chain. And in phase four, we see another mention of holder account again. You don't need it. Connect KOL. Uh, connect famous fashion brands, famous NFT collections, phase five, we see tournament, updating the NFT, update idle mold and mode and the ecosystem development. Now, like I said, in phase three, my problem is you don't need the 5,000, you don't need the holder count here. You don't need it here. Um, because again, these are fillers and they're just absolutely unnecessary. You guys have heard me talk about that, you know, on many other projects in their videos, you know, and, and what I, how I feel about, you know, talking about the holder count. It's just not necessary. Everybody wants to grow their holder count and everybody wants to go ahead and get listed, you know, out of the gate, you know, on CMC and Kongeko as well. So that is not needed either. Um, I think that it's good that they have mentioned, you know, uh, talking about the app. 
um, the NFT collection, you know, obviously I don't really see, you know, anything beyond in terms of utility, you know, beyond the NFTs, you know, here. Um, ecosystem development, this is an interesting mention, you know, here in phase five, just because I'm wondering, you know, exactly, because uh, to me it speaks, you know, towards expansion, you know, or further development, you know, so what exactly is that going to be? Are they going to be coming out, you know, with a V2 on the roadmap? Uh, they don't mention it here. We'd also like to, I'd also personally like to go ahead and see them, you know, uh, get rid of the stuff that you've already done. You know, right now, I think for anybody that's new to you know, crypto coming and looking at this roadmap, I mean, there's just a lot to take in, you know, so uh, signals that can go ahead and indicate, you know, what you've already completed would be helpful, um, you know, where you're currently at in terms of, you know, development, you know, would be helpful. It's pending on going, you know, there's just some further refinement that can be done to this roadmap, in my personal opinion. Uh, and then on the tokenomics, we see what's going to what, you know, 33% going to pre-sale, 17% to liquidity, 25% to game reward, 20% going to staking incentive, 4% to marketing, 1% to the airdrop. So, and then they tell you where you can find them, you know, then you've got that de-audit badge, you know, so that's going to be the auditing company on this one. So that takes us through, you know, this project, you know, so you guys have already heard, you know, my opinion and just my thoughts, you know, in regards to the project, you know, so if you are somebody interested in taking a closer look at it, you know, again, as we always say on this channel, we don't encourage you to invest, but we do encourage you to get informed. So start with the documentation and take a look at the community, you know, um, ask some questions to the team, you know, or some other people in the community to further develop your signals in terms of what would make you lean into a project like this or you know tell you to stay away from it uh, so I, like I said I've already shared my my thoughts on this you know from my personal opinion and the lens through which I look at a project through um, you know so I'll leave the relevant links in the description you know for you on this one and leave it up to you as to what you would like to do uh, regarding your own level of participation on this project so thank you guys so much for watching liking subscribing and commenting all those things to help a small channel like this one get our content out to more people on YouTube. Thanks so much. You guys enjoy the day.